Hi everybody, I'm Alex and welcome to Storytime. Today I have all kinds of great stories for you, and this time they're all about dogs, which happens to be my buddy Buster's favorite subject. Isn't that right, boy? Yeah, that's right. Before we get into it though, I do want to tell you a couple of things. For starters, if you like story times, we have so many great story times in ADL TV, and you should check them out. Also, if you're looking for something to do, we have all kinds of great kids' crash projects, and you should take a look at those as well. Also, if you like kids' programming, we have The Saturday Show, which is always on a theme and always excellent. Okay, I think we've covered our bases, and I think it's time to do a hello song. Because you can't have a good story time without a good hello song, isn't that right? Right. A one, two, three. say hello. For example, in Italy, they say salve. Let's try that one next. Salve, friends. Salve, friends. Salve, friends. I'd like to say salve. Who else can we say hello today? here. In India, they say namaste. Let's try that one too. Namaste, friends. Namaste, friends. Namaste, friends. I'd like to say namaste. How else can we say hello today? You know, in Ojibwe, they say ani. Let's try that one as well. time for a finger exercise and a rhyme. I brought my fingers with me today. How about you? Oh, you did. That's good. All right. As usual, we're going to do two little blackbirds. And like usual, I'm going to use my index fingers. My first fingers like this. All right. A one, two, three. Two little blackbirds sitting on a tree. One named Stan and the other named Lee. Fly away, Stan. Fly away, Lee. Come back, Stan. Come back, Lee. Okay, let's do a different version this time. Two little blackbirds sitting on a car. One was near, and the other was far. Fly away near, fly away far. Come back near. Come back far. Okay, one last version. Two little blackbirds sitting on the ice. One was mean, and the other was nice. Fly away, mean. Fly away, nice. Come back, mean. Come back, nice. Okay, now it's time for a story. In our house, there is a long hallway filled with family portraits. I love looking at them, 
and my dad loves telling me stories about them. This is Uncle Angus, the pride of the police. An excellent nose he had. Nothing ever escaped him. Then there's Aunt Doris, the fire dog. Boy, did that dog have courage. Her brigade wouldn't have made it without her. Uncle Tiber was a champion, the fastest runner in our family. He was always ahead of the pack. What about me, I say? Will I be a police dog, a fire dog, or will I be a champ? My dad has no doubt about it. No matter what, he says, you will be a great dog. Now here's Uncle Scooter. Uncle Scooter looked after a flock of sheep. They listened to his every word and never got into trouble. Aunt Yuki was small, the smallest of us all, yet she was the one to reach for the stars. And this is Aunt Frida. Ever since she was a child, Frida wanted to become a painter. Now everyone can see her art. What about me, I ask again? What will I be? Will I too become a teacher? Or an astronaut? Will I be an artist? My dad has no doubt about it. No matter what he says, you will be a great dog. Are you sure, I ask? Absolutely, my dad replies. Absolutely positively sure? I am 100% sure you will be a great dog, a magnificent dog, or a great cat. It's up to you. The end. All right, you kids, now it's time for a song, and we're going to do the pirate song, because I love it. A one, two, three. When I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was four, I shut the door on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was five, I danced and jived on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. This next story is called One Dog Canoe, and it goes like this. I set off one morning in my little red canoe. My dog wagged his tail and said, 
can I come to? Of course, I said. So he scrambled in, and together we set off in my little canoe. After a while, we came across a beaver who stopped chewing on his tree and said, Can I come to? I don't know, I said. This is just a one-dog canoe. But with a scramble and a waddle, Beaver hopped in too. And with a push, I set off again in my little canoe. A little while later, we came across a loon who stretched her wings and said, Can I come too? Oh, I doubt it, I said. This is just a one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a flap of her wings, she was in my lap, and we set off again in my little canoe. A while after that, we came across a fox who darted out of the bushes and said, Can I come too? I don't believe so, I said. This is just a one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But quick as a flash, fox was in too. So we set off again in my little canoe. A while after that, we came across a bear scratching his back against a tree. And the bear said, can I come too? No, I said, absolutely not. This is a one fox, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a ka-thump and a bump, suddenly bear was in too. So with a big push, we set off again in my little red canoe. A while after that, we came across a moose standing in a glade, and the moose said, Can I come too? No, I said, heavens no, this is a one bear, one fox, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But moose would not be dissuaded. With a giant run and a giant leap, he was suddenly in the canoe too. And with a struggle and a push, we set off again in my little canoe. Well, a while after that, we came across a frog sitting on a rock. And the frog blinked, and the frog groaned, and said, Can I come too? No, I said, absolutely not. We're full up. This is a one moose, one bear, one fox, one loon, one beaver, one dog canoe. But with a hop and a flop, suddenly frog was in too. And suddenly, I could no longer continue in my little red canoe. We teetered, and we tottered, and then we fell in too. First frog fell in, and then moose with a splash, and a bear with a thump and a groan, and a, the fox too, and also the loon, and the beaver, who, being a beaver, was actually quite happy to be in the river, and my little dog too. Beaver looked up at me then and said, I am so sorry. I think this was actually just a one-dog canoe. But I smiled and I laughed. And I said, it was a good swim. We're fine. So, my dog and I put the canoe upright and climbed in and sailed away and turned back and waved to all of our animal friends from our one-dog canoe. The end. On beautiful days when the sun is shining, I like to take the long way home from school. And my favorite thing to do is look at all of the dogs and their people. Some people and their dogs are very young, and some are very old. Some dogs and their people look alike, and others could not be more different. But no matter what, everyone somehow seems to have found their perfect match. Cordelia Vanderlei loves coming to the park to paint, and Fluffernutter Vanderlei considers herself a bit of an artist, too.
Augustus Pennyfarthing is very little, and his owner, Sir Archibald Pennyfarthing, is very big. But everyone knows which one of them is really in charge. Jeanette and Lizette are twins, but they have very different dogs to complement their very different styles. Mr. Pepperton, the corgi, couldn't find a better ice cream buddy than little Alexander Wallace. And I've never seen a better set of matching mustachios than on Lord Banbury and his schnauzer O'Grady. Mr. Jenkins is tall with a small dog, and Mrs. Jenkins is small with a tall dog. They are the perfect couple with the perfect couple of dogs. The hot dog vendor, Freddie McDarrow, has the second biggest smile in the world, topped only by the smile of his canine business partner, Ernie. Watching dogs and their people is fun, because I can always tell they are best friends. But no matter how many people and their dogs I see, I am always the most excited to get back home to see my best friend, Fitzgerald. He is my fat, lazy, grumpy old cat. The end. All right, you kids, it's time for another song. And what should we do? What should we do? I know. Let's do the Grand Old Duke of York because it's the best. All right, a one, two, three. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Now, the best part of the song is that you can sing it over and over again. And each time you do, you can go just a little bit faster. Let's give it a try. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So that was just a little bit fast, but I bet we can go faster than that, right? Right. Let's try. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. You march them up the top, they march them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Whew, that was pretty fast, but we can go faster, right? Yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. You march them up the top, they march them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Okay. That was actually very fast, but I bet we can go even more blindingly super lightning fast. Let's try it again. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men, you march from the top of the hill, you march down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only half, you're up, you're neither up nor down. Oh man, that was so fast that my tongue was getting tied. But anyway, it's time for another story. Down in the valley. Bird sat with bird, bear fished with bear, and fox played his fiddle to the foxes. The sound of their play and their laughter drifted peacefully through the trees. Until one day, the dog appeared. He took what he wanted and drank however much he pleased. The more he ate, the bigger he became. So the fox stepped forward to play him a song to soothe his terrible hunger. The dog swallowed him whole, but the fox played on. His lonely song traveled to the outside. So three brave bunnies decided to free the fox. The dog swallowed them too. Enough was enough, everyone agreed. Together they would restore the peace. But talking to him, tricking him and tiring him out did not change a thing.
the dog swallowed them all. With nowhere else to go, the animals lit a light. Together they talked, they worked, and hope began to blossom in every heart. As life went on, the greedy dog still ate and ate. But when he finally swallowed the sun in the sky, there was nothing left to take. He had eaten his whole world while. Theirs was now brighter and stronger than ever before. In the end, there was just no place for someone as greedy as the dog. Down in the valley, the wind whistled peacefully through the trees again. Wherever we are together, we are at home. They all sang while Fox played his song. The end. All right, you kids, it's time for another song. And this time, we're going to sing Bingo, because it's about a dog, and also because it's just sort of fun to sing. Okay. A one, two, three. There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G, B I N G, B I N G, and Bingo was his name. Oh. There was a farmer had a dog, a bingo was his name, O oh, B I N B I N B I N and Bingo was his name, O oh. There was a farmer had a dog, a bingo was his name, O oh, B I B I B I and Bingo was his name, O oh. There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh, B, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. And Bingo was his name, oh. All right, you kids, it's almost that time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we go, we have time for one last song. And like usual, we're gonna sing Knees Up Mother Brown. And also like usual, I have the elastic, the fantastic, the occasionally spastic Ma Brown to help us sing. Or at least she can dance while we sing. Isn't that right, Ma Brown? All right, sounds like she's ready. A one, two, three. Oh, there was a girl from Paris, France, who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. Oh, we had some stories about dogs today. And they frolicked and played. Hooray. The only thing that we could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, there was a teeny tiny man who liked to do handstands. You ready, Ma Brown? All right, ready as ever. Let's give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Oh, so close, but then you kicked yourself in the noggin. The only thing that he could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. Okay, one last time. Oh, there was a girl from Paris, France, who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Okay, 
We'll see you next time.